If you're into fitness, then you've heard of eating four, five, maybe even six meals a day to maintain optimal protein synthesis, i.e. muscle building gains. Then how about eating 12 meals a day, approximately one meal every hour upon being awake? Will this insane amount of meal frequency biohack my body and give it no choice but to become a hyper anabolic muscle building machine? Or is 12 meals a day way too much to handle? Watch this video to find out. This is my one week journey eating 12 meals every single day for seven days. But you gotta focus. Are we gonna get ripped? Are we gonna get bigger? Are we gonna get bigger and ripped? I don't know, man. 12 meals a day, they tell me my metabolism is gonna raise up. Man, right now it looks like we're at 15. It's actually better than I thought. Waist right now is like 34, 34 and a half. Kinda like it was. 24? About, about 24, see that? There you go. Nuts. Nuts. There's my, there are my meals, bro. 12. 12 meals a day. So with that being said, I think it's time for breakfast. All right, ooh. Chicken rice broccoli, little avocado. Oh, because it's breakfast, we need our coffee. I can do this. I can do this. Gone. Ooh. All right, bros. It is 11 o'clock, so that means it's time for meal two. Done. I actually headed out to go work out right now. It's currently 12, so I got to get my next meal in right here. Meal number three, ooh. Oh, it smells like a yeah. fart, man. All right. There you have it. Meal number three. Nine more to go.
It's my post intra pre post workout meal. The workout was good in the terms that I had energy, but it wasn't good in the fact that it felt like I constantly had food in my throat. The obvious reasons. Anyways, we're going to the store. I'm gonna get supplies for food so I can make my meals tomorrow for tomorrow's 12 meals and so on. Oh, and speaking of, I have my next meal coming up in 20 minutes, so. <laughs> So just got back from the store. I actually unloaded the groceries into the fridge and I'm already 15 minutes late on my next meal. So uh, yeah, it's just like they're just constantly, constantly coming. Good thing is we're gonna be home for a little bit so I'm probably gonna be able to knock out the next couple of meals right on time. Meal number five. The meal's done. It's like I do want more but I'm not too hungry for more but it doesn't really matter because in about 40 minutes we're gonna be eating another one of these give me my meal bro <laughs> yo thanks right. meal six is out of the way 45 minutes till meal seven. Oh. Meal number eight. I drizzled some hot sauce on there. Is that loud? I'm at the sporting goods store. We're actually picking up a treadmill for not for us it's for our family so we're gonna go in there and we're gonna um buy this but then honestly by the time i come out i'm gonna have to eat my next meal and that's what we're gonna do ready for your seventh dinner Th this is my ninth oh ninth meal Jeez, i missed a couple <laughs> yeah so yeah mm, not to be a diva but i'm so sick of rice got three more <laughs> let's take her down Meal number 11. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love rice, but I'm sick of it. Before I brought this over here, I actually opened it up and I threw something on top, so something a little different. I threw these raw ginger slices right here because my stomach is kind of starting to feel like a little bit, like a little, like that heartburn feeling, you know what I mean? And I think it's just literally due to eating these meals on the go not being in a relaxed state while eating these meals, but ginger really helps soothe the stomach. So I threw a couple of chunks of raw ginger on this meal and I'll eat some of my final 12th meal as well. Enjoy this. Your arm looks big. Yeah. The final one. Uh, bleh. Final, final meal guys, meal 12. We're about to kick off the third. All right guys, so that's all 12 meals. I'm all done for today. So I already got six of these uh, out of the wash, cleaned up right here. Got the other six in the dishwasher going. We'll take those out tomorrow when we start this whole process over and pack them with tomorrow's 12 meals. Uh, okay, see you guys tomorrow. Ooh.
right folks, day two. Today on the menu, total, we have 32 ounces of cod, a whole head of asparagus, two heads of bok choy, two tablespoons of olive oil, 50 ounces of sweet potato, 680 grams of pineapple. These are probably gonna be some of the healthiest bodybuilding meals you can make right here, but it's eight o'clock, so I've gotta to get to work, and I've gotta start with breakfast. First meal down, that was actually pretty good. Those sweet potatoes are such a great break from that rice, and same with that pineapple. Ooh, like you can just taste the health behind this meal, but with that being said, this is only the first one. We have 11 more to go. All right, dentist time. Uh, bloop, bloop, bloop. Gonna take a meal to go on the road, but I gotta go. <laughs> All right, folks, I am out of the dentist appointment. I finished my meal before I went in there. Hopefully, didn't smell the fish on my breath. Uh, but yeah, I gotta get home now, and I've gotta make another meal, and I gotta eat it. Oh boy! Oh come on! We're so close! Ah, come on! Don't stall, don't stall you. If you're like, oh, it's got more gas. This car has stalled when it said nine miles to E once. Okay, we're, okay, we're gonna make it, we're gonna make it, we're gonna make it. Oh. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Starting to get a little sick of the sweet potato. <laughs> I'm such a diva. Mmm. Another hour, another meal. Work hard, play hard, party it like it's your job. Stupid song is stuck in my head. It's been going on for days. Oh. We're gonna we're gonna spice this one up. Oh yeah. Get some heat. And I'm eating it on a plate. Oh, there it is. I heat it. Look at the steam come off of that. And you know what? We're just gonna jazz this one up a bit with some buffalo sauce right on my fish. Ooh. I'm gonna be watching TV for the next two hours, so yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing, America. So I'm gonna be eating <laughs> my next two meals just like this. Oh, that hot sauce goes a long way. So I'm almost done with the final meal tonight. Two words. Flavor fatigue. This one's cold. I didn't heat it up like the other ones, but I gotta say, this is gonna sound total bro science, but the fish feels, or it has felt throughout this whole day, more anabolic than the chicken did. I can't believe we're eating freaking 12 meals a day. Um, it's getting old, I gotta, I gotta admit, but I did like the fish, and I do feel like maybe I'm experiencing some gains. So tomorrow we're gonna do 12 meals of fish again with salmon and cod. Oh man, so many, so many meals. Can I do it? Okay. All right, good night. Good morning, folks. So it is day three of 12 meals a day. And believe it or not, I'm actually hungry this day. I feel like maybe I'm like catching up to the meals, you know, because my last meal is a small meal rather than a, uh, big meal after intermittent fasting. So maybe that's what's making me hungry. I'm adjusting to that 12 meals a day schedule. Let's get cooking. All right, I got this like half pack of cod right here. We also have some salmon today. Day three. We had that half of that sweet potato we cooked up with some Yukon Gold Potatoes. We have some 365 frozen vegetable blend that we added in some extra broccoli to. And then we have our wild caught salmon fried over coconut oil, which just really brings out this nice flavor. Like, ooh. We have 12 of these. Now I did the math, logging everything, and I have room for an extra two bananas and two scoops of this protein powder. These will not be counted as meals, these will be eaten with a meal. So, we're still having 12 solid meals. This is just supplement to those meals. 
but I think it'll be a nice, refreshing little taste to just throw. Man, we're just gonna keep that protein synthesis flowing today. Protein synthesis. Yo, forgive the absolute mess in here. I need to do an. I need to do like a serious overhaul. Like honestly. All right. It's tender. Has a bit of a crust. Let's try some of that potato. Man, I'm hungry. That vegetable blend is delicious. I'm gonna get this meal in. I'm gonna start with work, and then like literally 45 minutes from now. Another meal, followed by another meal, followed by another meal. Boom. Dessert. Oh. All right. Whew. Went on a two mile run. Yeah, just food coming back up. We're like five meals in. Like, I, I, I'm a person who sweats a lot, but on that run, I was like, like a furnace, man. I was just sweating a ton, like twice as much as normal. Um, and, and like, we weren't even going that fast. Yeah, I think it's probably just from like eating the food constantly every hour. I think it's just like the thermogenic effect of food. So I'm gonna take a shower real quick, then I'm gonna slam in my next meal. So it's almost three o'clock and I've been having one of these every hour on the hour since 9 a.m. But this is meal six, which means I'm 45 minutes late to this meal. So I should be having meal seven at three. I'm gonna save the next meal. I'm gonna push it forward to the next hour. So instead of finishing at 9 p.m. tonight, we'll finish at 10 p.m. tonight, all right? We're just bumping things an hour ahead. We're still gonna have the 12 meals and they're still gonna be nice, pretty nicely separated. And in between this meal and the next meal, I'm gonna slurp on my protein shake. Isn't gonna make a difference. I'm totally fine with that. You know, we're still getting the meals and we're still getting that protein synthesis. That's what this is all about. But yeah, blah, blah, blah. Before I, before I talk myself to like tomorrow, uh, I'm gonna start digging into this meal. All right. Oh, it's so good to have something that's like not just protein, starch, starch and vegetable. Ooh. Boom. And the next meal. Always wanted to do that. All right guys, I had to do a quick store run um, with the gals. Uh, cause I'm out of food for tomorrow and I need to have food in the morning. I'm mid meal right now. Like I just had one like a little bit ago. I gotta get my next one in like ASAP. Do you know I'm eating 12 meals a day? 12. Pretty cool, huh? Like one every hour? Every hour? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a cool sweater. Thanks. Yeah, so I've got chicken for my meal on Friday, but I, I think we're going vegan tomorrow. So it's like the big, big dealio. So I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna get tofu and um, lentil noodles. It's gonna be a gassy day. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> Most important. <laughs> okay. Yo, like all the, all this stuff, like all this, like, oh, I want oh, this so bad. So good, banana nut. Chocolate. I know. I've, I've been eating literally like chicken, rice, broccoli, then yeah, salmon, like salmon, potatoes. Yeah, we're gonna get the extra fern. You know how we like it. Alpha land. Copyright. So back from the store, I got a great haul. I've got some good things on the menu these next couple of days. Tomorrow, we're going 100% vegan. This will be interesting. I'm, I'm trying tofu out. I've tried it a few times here and there, but we'll see how it does in a meal prep, all right? And then I also got some lentil noodles as well for some protein. But yeah, just gonna sit back and enjoy this meal. Just thinking protein synthesis, you know? Just thinking constantly eating, constantly feeding the body, feeding the muscle. Mm-hmm. And just like that, folks, the final meal has been decimated. It's like 10, 10, 15. Anyways, guys, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Good morning, day four.
Woo! All right. <laughs> ah. Ladies and gentlemen, my vegan smorgasbord for today. Oh my goodness. So, uh, we only have 11 containers here. Yeah, logistically I messed up. One of my containers is still dirty. I think I left it on the counter over there instead of put it in the sink. So I thought I had it all in the sink. And So then, finally, we have one container of this Harmless Harvest coconut yogurt, two bananas, and we're going to be using 2.5 scoops of this total today, 365 grams of carbs, 110 grams of fat, and approximately 153 grams of protein. Oh boy. Tofu is just, uh, I didn't throw any vegetables in there, I figured, I figured whatever. Half scoop. Mmm. Oh, that's actually good. All right, tofu and coffee. <laughs> it's like looks like chicken. All right. The texture isn't exactly chicken, but it, it's not a bad texture. I brought a, another one up too because an hour from now I need to eat that. And dude, I'm I'm like literally just sick of like running up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down all day. You know what I mean? Like I'm trying to be efficient at work here. So, boom. Oh my god. Yo, you guys want to see a failed challenge idea that uh, I was going to do and then I kind of like tried it out and I was just like, this is way too stupid. This goes on your wrist like this. These clip on each of your fingers, just like that. <laughs> and my idea was these bands, what they are intended to do is hold your hand in finger extension like this. Um, and this device is like for rehabilitation and stuff for I think like stroke uh, patients, stroke victims. But for me, I was thinking like, if I'm always holding my hand in finger extension, then every little thing I try to do uh, with my fingers, I'll be adding like resistance to, you know, the flexion, right? So over time, just a little bit of stimulation, would it increase my grip strength? You know, if I wore these like 24 seven for a whole week straight, dumb idea, really dumb idea. I think I'd rather do some kind of like grip training or something for a week. Maybe we'll do that like rock climbing training or something like that. Interesting, right? Huh? Maybe. In there. Got some meals for the road, cause yeah, I'll probably be out there for like three hours. Boom! Tofu time. It's not bad. I feel like I have so much energy and I feel like my legs are super strong and I feel like I can just like keep going and going and going. It, I don't know if it's if it's the meals, just like constantly eating, but maybe it has something to do with it, you know? Intermittent fasting, sometimes I'd hit like this wall. The only thing is though, you know, this is all sloshing around in my stomach. So like on that run, like I didn't cramp as bad as the other day, oops. But I, uh, I definitely cramped. I'm gonna finish this, I'm gonna take this on the road, man. It's too hot out here, all right. Oh, oh I choked.
That was a stupid idea. Oh man, we're already late for our next meal. Alright, pasta dish time. Mmm. Boom. Meal number seven. Just got out of the shower here. That was good. You decide what you want. So this is my protein shake I just whipped up right there. But uh I'm gonna get this in, then I'm gonna get my final meal in. Remember this doesn't count as a meal. Um, I just kind of had it as like an intra meal thing, so this is like meal 13. One more pasta dish here. Boom. So, that's a meal. All right, I'm gonna enjoy this, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I got some great food on the menu tomorrow. One of my favorite meals. If you guys have been following this, you know what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, 12 of my favorite meals this day. One cup basmati rice dry, 24 ounces of Yukon gold potatoes, 17 ounces of chicken thighs, 11 ounces of chicken breast, 600 grams of broccoli, one container of light coconut milk, half a container of yellow curry paste, two peppers, one large onion, chopped ginger, for a total of approximately 2,800 calories, approximately 338 grams of carbohydrates, 66 grams of fat, and 214 grams of protein. Do I dare say anabolic? Cheers. Woo! 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 All right, guys, so. Forgive the shirtlessness, I'm like just, I'm like hot as heck in here, just constantly eating. Just finished another meal, this is meal number four. Anyway, it's got this video up, hopefully that's gonna be a, a kick butt video. Uh, worked really hard on that, that was last week's challenge, the 1,000 reps of abs a uh, day. Other than that, this meal has been super delicious. I'm not really flavor fatiguing right now, just constantly eating, like I feel so warm, you know? I feel like it's just so warm, like I'm like sweating. But with that being said, I'm supposed to hang out with Joey and we might uh, have an outdoor training session. We might do some like weird cross training stuff. You know how we do it. All right, yo, so uh, Joey actually, he can't make it, he had to cancel. But hey, that's okay, you know, the guy's getting married next week. <laughs> actually, he's getting married today when this video comes out. Woo, that's crazy. I'm just gonna do a quick workout down here. Um, just gonna do, uh, I'm just gonna do some upper body. We did lower body yesterday. Oh, oh, meal 13. No, this doesn't count. Remember, these don't count as a meal. So my wife came home and she's like, yo, I want to make a protein shake. I'm like, that sounds good. <laughs> it's, I, I didn't put in my fitness pal, but it's around 250 calories just off the top of my head. So bringing my total daily calories when we're done with today to 3,050 calories, which is totally fine. All right. Got the loot. Got the loot. All right. G W E. I want to eat. Oh. Okay, so I got we got the food for tomorrow. Um, I'm doing a beef day tomorrow. I haven't had beef yet this entire experiment, so I'm really looking forward to that. I also decided to do noodles with it, but I came in contact with this ganoshi stuff, so I got that. So we're gonna throw that in. 
I'm gonna prep it tonight. And instead of putting it in these Tupperwares, I'm gonna put it all into like bigger Tupperwares because these aren't gonna be clean yet. And then tomorrow, as we're on the go, I'm gonna pack like four at a time, you know? So that's the approach for the weekend. See you guys at home. job on this cutoff wearing the cutoff because Jersey Shore that's right we're going Italian tomorrow so for the cards I've got this brown rice pasta right here and then I want to try something I've never ever had this ever before no she like that gluten-free imported from Italy so you know it's good I think I'm gonna do the full two servings of this maybe like half a container of this two pounds of grass-fed ground beef that we're gonna eat throughout the day all that split up into 12 meals, approximately 3,084 calories. Macro breakdown is gonna be, whoa, man, yeah, higher fat day, higher fat day. Look at that, man, peace, baby, peace. Yeah. You guys know Pauly D became a DJ? DJ Pauly D? Did you guys know that? Man. Three meals left, four actually, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This is one of four left. Eating a meal while making a meal. Boom. Hopefully this was a good choice. I'm, I'm just gonna try one right now, okay? Breaking the rules a little bit. What is inside of it? It has like a ravioli texture without really having anything inside of it. It'll do. All right. Tomorrow's meal is right here, guys. Not yet spread out, but we will spread them out tomorrow. This is going in the fridge. It's all prepped. I'm just going to literally scoop it out. I mean, maybe. Look, don't ask, all right? Beef and noodle and ganoche, or beef and ganoche? Noki. Noki? Beef and, beef and noki, is that what it's called? I think so. Because oh. it's the morning, we're gonna wash it down with some coffee. Good. Oh. Done. I already had my meal two. I'm moving on to meal three right now, but I'm also gonna pack three more meals for on the go because we're hitting up the gym. And I figured, hey, it's day six. We're doing 12 meals a day, you know, like a bodybuilder. So let's do a totally bro upper body bodybuilding workout with weights in the gym. And if the timing's right, I'm probably gonna have to have an intro workout, pre post workout meal. You know what I'm saying? Because just the frequency is absolutely nuts. Yeah, so we got a lot of beef still left. We only had two so far. I gotta be real, this is probably the worst tasting meal cold because of the beef, the beef fat, but it still doesn't taste too bad. Like, it's not that bad. One, two, three for the go. One more right now. Meal number three right now. I'm just gonna be straight with you guys. I am so excited to intermittent fast on Monday. Day and tomorrow. That's all I got left. All right. Why don't you bring more lunch box? <laughs> I don't know, because I don't think we'll be in there more than an hour, right?
literally just got out of the gym um, where I finished that meal and uh, then we just went on a run how far did we go felt like a long time six miles so um, you know what that means my mouth is like so dry though cheers oh next meal Ugh. Like not even hungry, honestly. Like it's so hard to eat, like after you just train intensely, especially like a heavier meal like this. But hey, keeping got to keep that protein synthesis going. All right. I just had to have it. All right, fellas. So I'm so sick of uh, cold beef. <laughs> meal number seven. That ganache is, uh, our ginoshi is pretty good heated up. Got some fresh kale on this plate. Mm. Hey. Hi. What's up? Let's eat meal number nine here. <laughs> Actually, it's eight. How are you? <laughs> Throwing a little vegetables for freshness. Yo, I gotta be real, like, I'm just so flavor fatigued from, uh, the beef. Final meal. Yeah, so my like tenth and eleventh one were kinda kinda bigger than this one. But we're gonna finish the anyways. I love beef, like it's probably one of my favorite things to eat while I'm intermittent fasting, you know. I don't take it for granted, but when you have to eat it twelve times, it's like probably my least favorite thing to eat to be honest. Honestly the best day so far, I gotta be real, was the vegan day. I felt like that food just flew right through me and I felt energized throughout the whole day. But when I do have vegan days, intermittent fasting, and I have like a huge big meal vegan wise, I'm like, I don't feel that good. Does that make sense? I'm gonna shower in bed. I'll see you tomorrow for the final day. Finally, we're almost done with it, okay. What's up everybody? So it is the final day of this 12 meals a day. I'm, I'm really looking forward to intermittent fasting tomorrow. I'm not gonna lie. I cannot wait to just wake up and not eat anything. But with that being said, I am actually feeling like my body is really getting used to this frequent eating of meals. So it is currently 11 o'clock. I woke up at around like 7.30. So we just got done with four breakfasts at eight, nine, 10, and 11. We had Eggs toast banana, eggs toast banana, eggs toast banana, eggs toast banana. So my four breakfasts totaled up to about a thousand calories. I gotta be honest, my appetite feels stimulated today. Like I feel pretty stimulated, but we'll see. Moving into lunch, this should be fun. All right, so I've got 30 minutes. I'm gonna prep my next four meals. And then my final four meals tonight, is gonna, they're gonna be nuts, all right? And I'll explain to you the reasoning why I'm doing this, all right? It's not just because I'm losing my, losing my stuff. But right now, we're gonna keep it clean, all right? We're gonna keep it clean. I got another pack of these wild-caught uh, cod fillets. This, this white fish, very lean, very high in protein. Honestly, probably one of the best muscle-building meals I've had all week, I have to say, either the cod or the salmon. There was just something about it. I felt like really like like dry and like hard, you know what I mean? And strong, and I felt like I had energy the day after. Um, and I'm gonna do my remainder of these brown rice noodles here. All right, folks, I got the next four hours of meals right here. It's actually currently 12 now, so. Gotta get this one down. All right, meal number six. Yo, I did it! <laughs> mm. Man, this trampoline has seen some things. Boom. Nature. 
Have any one of you um, tried eating, you know, maybe five, six meals a day, maybe eight meals a day? <laughs> I'm just curious if you did, if you noticed yourself like more like irritable. I feel like I've been progressively getting more and more irritable this whole entire week. And I don't think it has to do with like, like eating bad food. You know, if you eat like junk food all the time, you don't feel that good. So that could make you irritable. In my case here, I, I feel like I've been eating fairly healthy. But um, just in between the meals, man, like I'm just... Yeah, not, not, not in the best mood, let's put it that way. But it's just like, oops. I am not eating that, all right? Don't even, not even for the video, so don't even. I love how the bird like poops in the hole. Like it's like a burnt hole in this table and the bird like literally just took a dump right in there. <laughs> oh no, I could not wait to get back into intermittent fasting tomorrow. But we'll see how we look tomorrow. All right, that's a big thing. Meal number seven done. Yo, so I literally just wanna like take a nap, man. But I can't, cause I've only got like 30 minutes before I gotta eat my next meal. Ha! <laughs> <Ugh. laughs> meal number eight. After this, I only have four meals left, so I'm gonna try to put on the best attitude possible and finish this strong. Also, after I'm done with this, I'm actually gonna take the next two hours off of eating. Cause honestly, I feel like it's catching up with me. My stomach's feeling pretty full right now. We're not gonna start eating our next meal until six o'clock. So we're gonna have our ninth meal at six, and then the next meal at seven, eight, and the final meal at nine. But we have to go to the store first to get the supplies for that meal when I'm done finishing this. Meal eight done. All right, first dirty little treat of this whole entire expedition here. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I did this. So I picked up, so we picked up dinner. My next four meals are picked up. This little snack I'm about to have it doesn't count. A me doesn't count as a meal. This is just a snack. If you know, you know. One of my favorite series of all time. Rest in peace. These are these uh, brown butter cookies from Whole Foods, and the calories are approximately. 440 calories per one cookie. I decided I'd have it on the last day. And I'll explain to you maybe why I'm eating a little higher calories today. If I eat all of these cookies, it's nearly gonna be 2,000 calories, which might be a little hack if I ever decide to do a 10,000 calorie challenge. Should I decide to do it? Let me know. All right, I'm enjoy this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> all right guys all right my final four meals we are having this four times all right boom so this is a rudy's organic whole wheat bun with some grass-fed beef about a quarter pound maybe a little bit more than that then we have a big slice of an onion a tomato lettuce about a serving of fries right here i'm gonna be finishing off probably two packs by the end of the end of the four meals so i might have a little bit more a little bit less on some of these. So for the next four hours, I'm literally going to be eating this exact same thing, one every hour. But I am so looking forward to this. I'm gonna take this bite right here for you guys, and then I'm actually gonna enjoy this in peace without uh, filming it, just for my own sake of sanity here. But look at how juicy that is. Oh. Mm, that is so good. Let's take it down, baby. Final four meals. <laughs> All right, guys, seven o'clock, round two. Look at this. I'm actually starving now, like I wanna eat this so bad. So it's like 8 o'clock right now and um 8.30. 8.30, yeah, so like I'm just feeling I'm just feeling some more dessert, you know? And uh <laughs> this is my refeed day here, day seven. So I'm like, yo, why not have a dessert on top of these 12 meals? So I might get a piece of cake. <laughs> I know that sounds so like I'm like four years old, but my gosh. I'm I'm gonna explain why I'm doing this later, but look at these cakes. 
Look at how good this looks. Look at these. I'm like, I might get this one right here. All right, just so you guys know, there's no funny business going on. This was what I was wearing just a second ago. We just uh, went out, had a little trip, and now we're gonna finish this day. I'm so excited to be done, but I'm actually very excited for this next meal. So, I got this dropped off for me. Dropped off for you? Yeah, or I picked it up. <laughs> I know, I'm such a, I'm so, like, I'm so hungry though today. So this cake is, this cake is only 460 calories, so we're gonna, okay. um, yeah, so we're gonna throw that cake into the mix because it's it's not the healthiest thing but short story hopefully these carbs go to good use because i was feeling pretty depleted coming up to this and hopefully i don't look like just bloated and water retensive tomorrow i mean frick if you count these cakes as a meal this is gonna be like meal 13 again so but still i divided everything up today i guess the most important thing is we're keeping that protein synthesis going right right i don't know oh it's so good i'm gonna enjoy this this camera's about to run on batteries. Day seven, 12 meals a day. About to cap off my final meal right here. I just wanna say right now, I am so blessed to be able to have access and be able to afford such quality and good food right now. And I just wanna thank all you guys for supporting me by watching this video, liking these videos. I really, really do appreciate you and I'm happy you guys are enjoying these videos and these experiments. Essentially, how I've been doing it is Sunday has been like my my bro bulking day. So the whole week I usually eat like maintenance, maybe slightly under maintenance calories, have a killer workout on Saturday, and then Sunday I kinda just eat as I wish. And I probably normally on Sunday have about 4,500 calories, but I did the math today and I calculated it. And <laughs> when I'm finished with this final meal, meal number 12 here, 13 if you count that ridiculous piece of cake, um, Oh, <laughs> 6,126 calories, approximately 280 grams of protein, 227 grams of fat, and 734 grams of carbs. I gotta say right now, the 10,000 calorie challenge might actually be a, be a challenge. I was, I was under it earlier, I'm like, I'm like 10,000 calories, I could do that. But seriously, 6,000 in, I'm, I'm, I don't know, 4,000 more might, that might keel me over. Oh, good morning, everybody. So it is finally, finally a day where I can just not eat. We are done with the one week challenge of eating 12 meals a day. Let's take the official afters now. So literally looking at the before and after pictures, I see a significant difference just from the visuals. In the front, I literally look drier in the after photo. It could be due a little bit to the lighting, but I tried to keep it consistent. Also from the side, my waist even looks tighter. Now according to the measurements, look at this. Yo, so I'm getting a solid like 15 and a half on this left bicep right here. A little bit bigger than a week ago. <laughs> and a half on the right one too. Waist and the belly button. Still right at 34. I think that's where it was. Like literally looks like at exactly 24 on the right. Literally exactly 24 on, on the left as well. It looks like I put on at least a quarter inch to my arms in only one week by eating 12 meals a day. Did this really work that well? Like, that's crazy. So it looks like we did experience some significant improvements, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna make another video diving into these results, explaining what I think happened. Did this jump to 12 meals a day actually cause me to be sufficiently more anabolic and just like grow like a machine? If I continue to do this, will I just keep growing? I actually already recorded my opinion, but it's literally like 20 minutes long, so I'm gonna make that a separate video coming up in the week, so stay tuned for that where I dive into these ridiculous results. And with that being said, stay tuned because I have more videos coming out. Thank you all so much for watching this video, sticking around, your positive support and feedback. Don't forget to subscribe. I hope you all have a great day. Peace. I will see you all in the next video.